Hello friends. Now we will see problems based on force and impulse. So this is the first problem. If constant force of 800 newton produces an acceleration of 5 meter per second square in a body what is its mass if body starts from rest how much distance will it travels in 10 second so we'll have to find out mass and uh, the distance uh, that will be travel by the body in 10 second we have to calculate so here given things force 800 newton acceleration is given 5 meter per second square initial velocity u is 0 time t is 10 second to find mass of the body and distance traveled in meter formula we will use first to calculate mass f equals to ma second formula we will use s equals to ut plus half time at square so calculation from first formula we have force equals to mass into acceleration we have to calculate mass so mass equals to force by acceleration so here force is 800 newton acceleration is 5 meter per second square so we'll get here mass equals to 160 kg first answer then second from formula 2 s equals to ut plus half time at square putting all values to calculate the distance travel by uh, the particle here initial velocity is 0 into 10 second plus half time acceleration is 5 meter per second square into time 10 second square so calculating this getting s equals to 250 meter so when a force of 800 newton applied to a body and the body accelerate with 5 meter per second square then to sustain that force the mass of the body should be 160 kg and because of 800 newton force the particle or the body will travel 250 meter distance now second sum two billiard balls each of mass 0.05 kg moving in opposite direction with speed 6 meter per second collide and rebound with same speed what is the impulse imparted to each ball due to other so two billiard balls are there of uh, 0.05 kg mass they are moving in opposite direction with uh, same speed that is 6 meter per second and they collide 
and rebound itself then we have to calculate what is the impulse imparted to each ball due to other so here given things mass of each billiard ball 0.05 kg then velocity initial velocity is 6 meter per second final velocity is minus 6 meter per second to find impulse that is f into t this we have to find out formula we will use ft equals to mass into v minus u calculation so impulse equals to mass velocity minus final velocity minus initial velocity so here mass is given 0.05 final velocity is minus 6 initial velocity is again minus 6 so i am getting 0.06 kg meter per second so this is minus so impulse equals to this now the next sum a bullet of mass 0.01 kg moving horizontally with a velocity of 20 meter per second strikes a target and brought to rest in 0.1 second find the impulse and average force in impact so here given things mass of the bullet is given m equals to 0.01 kg now uh, the velocity is given u equals to 20 meter per second and uh, it brought to rest in 0.01 second that means time is given 0.01 second to find impulse average force average force formula first formula we will use ft equals to mv minus mu to calculate average force we will use f equals to m in bracket v minus u by t so from the first formula calculation from first formula that is ft equals to mv minus mu so here i am getting impulse ft equals to mass is 0.1 then uh, final velocity is 0 minus 20 meter per second so here i am getting impulse ft is minus 2 newton second or kg meter per second. here we have calculated impulse that is f into t equals to the Minus two newton second or kg meter per second. Now we have to calculate average force in impact. So the a bullet of mass 0.1 kg is moving horizontally with certain velocity that is 20 meter per second, and it strikes to the target, and it is brought to rest in 0.1 second. So during this process, average force is acted as well as impulse also acted over there. 
so we find out impulse over here now we have to calculate average force in impact so for that we will use a formula f equals to mass final velocity minus initial velocity by t so here we know that mass is 0.1 kg final velocity is 0 minus 20 meter per second initial velocity by time is 0.1 second so here i am getting 2 by 0.1 second uh, therefore i am getting 20 newton so average force acted is 20 newton so cricket ball of mass 150 gram moving with a velocity of 12 meter per second is turned back with velocity of 20 meter per second on hitting the bat the force of the ball lasts for 0 0.01 second find average force exerted on the ball by the bat so here a cricket ball is there very a famous example of cricket ball so when it strike on the bat so how much amount of force is exerted on the ball by the bat that you have to calculate here mass of the ball is given and velocity of the ball is given so given mass so 150 gram we will convert this into the kg velocity is given 20 meter per second so initially the ball was moving with initial velocity 12 meter per second and we have to calculate the average force exerted on the ball by the bat for the time 0 0.01 second so to find average force formula to calculate average force f equals to mass into v minus u by t where m is the mass v is the final velocity u is initial velocity by t so calculation from the formula so putting all the values mass in kg 0 0.0150 kg final velocity 20 minus initial velocity 12 by time 0 0.01 second so here we are getting 480 newton so you see friends when a cricket ball of mass certain mass is moving with certain velocity and that is turned back with the velocity of 20 meter per second so initial velocity and final velocity is given uh, when you strike to the bat it is hitting the bat and moving with certain velocity that is 20 meter per second then for certain period that is 0 0.001 second uh, what is the average force which was exerted by the bat on the ball that we have calculated that is 480 newton